I think you all know what this means. It's another CGC unboxing. 9.6 pre-screen. What did I get back? What didn't get graded? Let's take a look on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Hey there, comic book community. This is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video and another CGC unboxing. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe. We're coming close to our 3,000 subscriber giveaway and the long overdue 2,500 subscriber giveaway we're going to do live at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday, November 1st. So um, uh, also follow us on the other socials uh, at... Uh, Instagram, Bronzeville underscore comics, also on whatnot, Bronzeville underscore comics. I generally do shows every Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time, but this next coming Monday is Halloween, so we will not be doing a show on that night. Um, and uh, just follow us uh, and see what shows are available. I also give pre previews of the shows on Instagram, and if you look in the description below, you can get $10 off uh, your first purchase. If you've not yet signed up for whatnot, use the link there, sign up, get $10 off your first purchase. Also, in the description below is a link to my eBay store, where some of these slabs may reside uh, shortly. So, what we're going to try to do is um, talk about the books, where I got them, um, and uh, what I thought of the conditions. Obviously, I thought we're pretty much in the uh, 9.6 to 9.8 range, and... Um, so I know how many books came back. Basically, with a pre-screen is you send at least 25 books in, a, in um, a particular tier, in this case, 25 modern books. And you can set the minimum grade you want for all the books. So I set it as a 9.6. So the book comes back graded to 9.6, a 9.8, or a 9.9, or a 10, unlikely. Then the book gets graded, slabbed, and sent back. If the book doesn't quite make the grade, then it gets sent back as a raw book, and they charge $8 per book um, for that. So I know how many books got slabbed. You'll see in just a minute what got slabbed up. And I was happy because I took some gambles with this uh, order. There were several books in here I thought maybe a 9.6. I thought it might be a little bit of a stretch, but I figured, what the heck, let's roll the dice because I thought these were books that and a 9.6 would be valuable enough that um, it would be worth a gamble uh, rather than just throwing them because, you know, once you start getting into the 9 uh, range, they might not be as valuable. Most of the other books only really have value in the 9.6, 9.8 range. So that's kind of the way um, I set up my pre-screens. Now, I submitted these books. Let me take a look. Um, these When these books were sent, it usually takes about an extra month to do a pre-screen. Um, so... Let me find my CGC submissions, and I sent in the pre-screen through my LCS on July 27th, and I got it back on October 25th. So just under three months to get back a 9.6 pre-screen. Um, so let's look at the, the books that I got there, um, and we'll talk about where I got some of them. Some I got through collections, some I picked up, um, and I'm going to have to kind of check how much I paid for these. I think some of them I got like, uh, you know, kind of estate sales and stuff. So we're, I don't know the grades. Obviously, if they're graded, they're either 9.6 or 9.8. Um, we'll see how many came back and then we'll put the fair market value on the screen um, in post editing. So let me um, kind of go to my screen here. So this is always a little bit nervous time. So the first book is Infinite Crisis 5. This is the Perez cover. Uh, this is the first appearance of Jaime Reyes. And as far as we know, DC is going ahead with um, the Blue Beetle movie. This is the first appearance of Jaime Reyes as Blue Beetle. There is also, I have several of these in this order. I think I have four of this book. Um, and I thought that, uh, you know, they were, I have, yeah, one, two, three, four in this order. Um, I thought they were potential nine eights. Certainly, I hope uh, for at least a nine six. Um, the Jim Lee cover, which has Blue Beetle on the cover, is more um, 
is worth more money. So this one came back as a 9-8 white pages. Yay, one for one. So I'm going to make a 9-8 pile and a 9-6 pile. So that is a success. Um, and hopefully, i am got to inspect the slabs. The box looked like it got dinged around a little bit, but hopefully um, the packaging is enough to protect it. Here, Animaniacs, um, number one. I bought this, and let's see. Um, Animaniacs Christmas Special from 1994. Now, this is a modern order, but um, only, I think, seven of the 25 books were from the 21st century. So um, I want to check how much I, I bought this for. Um, and the reason I got this book is because when I was doing my 1990s DC list, it was in the top 10 of one of the years, um, and I, I didn't have it in my collection. Animaniacs, any Maniac special. What did I purchase this for? Um, Seventeen dollars on eBay. That's including shipping and tax. So uh, obviously, at least the nine point six. I, this is the first appearance of the Animaniacs in comics. Nine point six white pages. Okay, not as much as a nine eight, but still, I only paid seventeen bucks for it. So. Um, not disappointed with that. There was some discoloration close to the UPC box. Um, no, I'm sorry. There were some small ticks in the back cover. Okay. That, um, not, not disappointed in that. Um, would have liked the 9.8, but you know, we'll take the 9.6. Ooh, All-Star Squadron 25. Um, this book, I, I had sent it in in a previous 9.6 pre-screen and it came back as rejected. Subsequently, I got a copy back in a 9.8. So All-Star Squadron. I'm not sure what order these books are going in and I'm wondering if they're in any sort of order if the Amazing Spider-Man book I had in here did not get graded. Um, I picked up a bunch of these books. Actually, I just picked up a copy of this book uh, this past weekend. You may have seen on my haul video. Uh, All-Star Squadron 25, um, I bought this book for, that's cover A, um, I spent $32.51 on eBay for this book. So even in a 9.6, it's going to um, come back pretty good. And obviously it's not a keeper because I already have a 9.8. Uh, this came back as a 9.6 white pages. Okay, still, um, that's a good book. First appearance of um, New Klon, who becomes Adam Smasher. Uh, the rest of the first appearances of Infinity Incorporated. Um, Adam Smasher in the Black Adam movie, so um, that is a, a book. And it, the plastic sleeves that, that they're in now are a little, little thicker than what we've seen before. Infinite Crisis 3. This is the first appearance of Jaime Reyes, um, in, in Cameo, before he becomes Blue Beetle. Um, what does it say there? It says... doesn't say that. Uh, but this is the first appearance of Jaime Reyes before he becomes Blue Beetle. And this came back as a 9.8 white pages. Very nice. Um, not sure. Probably got that for about 10 or 15 bucks. There are some... I'm looking at this. I don't know. There's some... Both of these Infinite Crisis books have like some... Something on the cover, on the on the on the like some scratching. I don't know if you can see it really on the with a glare on the camera, but I don't think the well, the All Star Squadron book doesn't have that. It's curious. So two nine eights, two nine sixes. The tie so far. We'd love for the nine eights to win. Up next, we have Green Lantern two oh one. This also went in the previous submission um, as a the previous 9.6 pre-screen. I found a little bit of um, residue on it that I was able to clean off just by um, steaming it and wiping it off. Um, so that came out nice. It's the first appearance of Kilowog. And let's see what I... Um, I picked this up probably at a show at some point. I, I got this back recently in a 9.2, so this will obviously be an upgrade. Green Lantern, Volume 2, Volume 1 was a Golden Age one, number uh, 201, 
this is a high grade one, I think. I bought this for $35 last year at New York Comic Con. So this book came back as a 9-8 white pages. Yes. Oh, that is awesome. That is really good. And it's really um, satisfying because I pressed and cleaned this myself and I had to redo it. Now, this is um, success story of a pre-screen. I had put this in a previous 9.6 pre-screen and it was rejected. So I took a closer look at it, cleaned it up a little bit more, and it comes back as a 9.8 white pages. Very, very happy with that. So 9.8s lead 3 to 2. Very good. Up next, what do we got? Okay. Ah, Ghost Rider 31. First full appearance of the Midnight Suns. This book was hot, hot as a pistol um, for a while and has cooled down since. Um, I probably got this in the poly bag um, and, and pressed it myself. So let's see where I picked that one up. I think, if I remember correctly, I got this really cheap. Ghost Rider Volume 2, 31. Yeah. There's, this is not the one I got. I got this <laughs> on a Black Friday estate sale for $1. And it came back as a 9.8 white pages. Whoop, whoop. White pages are leading four to two. So again, I um, this was in the poly bag. I cleaned and pressed it. Got the 9.8. Very nice. Um, so, so far, I'm happy with the submission. Captain America 230. This classic John Byrne cover with Hulk punching um, Cap Shield. Interestingly... It does not denote here that it is a newsstand edition. Now, newsstands, this is 1979, so newsstands were fairly common at the time. Um, I remember, I think I picked this book up as part of my personal collection, or maybe, I, I remember it came out during the summer, and I was, like, uh, at a sleepover at my cousin's house. This is not my PC book, by the way. Um, and we went to the local store, and, you know, I remember this cover as being striking. So I'm trying to see how much I bought this for. It might have been part of a collection. Captain America. I think it was. No, I got it. Was that 240, right? 240. Maybe it was probably part of a collection. Oh, no, 250. Um, so I bought this. No, maybe that's the one in my PC. I think I got this as part of a collection. So... Captain America 230, no, 230, not 250, 230, no, yeah, I got it as part of a collection, I think. Um, if I remember correctly, it's probably a collection I got around Thanksgiving of last year. So this came back as a 9.6 white page. It's still, nice book to have, nice little key there, just a classic cover. So 9.8s are still holding on, the lead is 4 to 3. Next up, I saw the 9 point something, but I didn't see the the 10th digit. Um, another Infinite Crisis 5, first appearance of Jaime Reyes. 9.8 white pages, very nice. That's two of the four I submitted. We're up five to three, the white, the 9.8s. Um, what is next? Let's find the next book. It's a little difficult. They have these thicker um, plastic baggies around them. I'll show you. There's another Infinite Crisis 5. Um, I'm just going to show this. This 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 bag is poly bag is thicker than what they've sent in the past. Nine point six white pages. So yeah, can't win them all. Five to four. The nine eights are leading. Let's do better on this one. Let's see. Um, I think I submitted one more of the Infinite Crisis, and there it is. Infinite Crisis 5, first time I raised the Blue Beetle, 9.8 white pages. So three of the four came back as 9.8 white pages. Very nice. And they all had things on them. I made notes um, on what was up with them. Probably I got these for like $15. You know, I bought so many of them. One, uh, one of them, dot on back cover, half an inch in, a bindery tear in the bottom, pin size indent next to the E, spine tick near bottom back cover. 
one dot on back cover, maybe some scratches on bottom left back cover, light scratch on back cover. So they weren't perfect. Um, and this, um, I was talking to Erod about this, that it seems as though the modern standards may have loosened up a little bit now that the uh, newer employees um, are, are more familiar with what they're doing. Um, that uh, it's kind of back to the, the, the grading standards from, uh, you know, uh, a couple of years ago. So up next, Simpsons Comics, number one. I believe uh, I got this maybe at an estate sale. I paid like three bucks for I, I, I The most I would have paid for this book is $3. Okay. This is a little bit more difficult because it does have a poster inside. So the, the, the spine was a little more difficult to press. So let me just refocus. Come on. There we go. Came back as a 9.6 white pages. Okay. So we are at one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. Nine, eight is still holding on to the lead, but barely. We need more nine eights. Next book, Oblivion Song, number one. Um, this is something where Jake Gyllenhaal has been attached to this project. It's been optioned, uh, but not a lot of news of it lately. I got this uh, recently at... Um, the Stormville flea market for like five bucks. Uh, it was a really bad vendor. They, they everything was five dollars and not a, this should have been a nine eight. Yeah, nine eight white pages. We'll hold on to this to see if there's more news about this show. But um, Robert Kirkman uh, story. So we'll see about that. Um, that I thought was a nine point eight all day. That is the most recent book in the submission. As you can see, most of the other books are like nineties, eighties, even seventies books. So. We're now, what, seven to five? The nine eights are leading. Ms. Marvel 17. This was part of a collection that I picked up um, early last year. This is um, the, is this is the first full, a cameo. Cameo of uh, Mystique. And I thought this was pretty sharp. So I got this as part of a collection. Um, so no can't really assign a, you know, a value, but I got it for just a few bucks, really, if you divide the number of books by the value I paid for the collection. Nine, eight white pages. Yes. Nice. Nice. I'm getting a nine, eight on a book from 1978 that I cleaned and pressed myself. Um, very, very happy with that. Very satisfied. 9.8 white pages. And um, I thought, you know, again, was it perfect? There was a tiny abrasion on the bottom right front cover. I think that was actually notches from like maybe the way the book was shipped. Um, so it would be a production issue. But yeah, 9.8, 8 to 5. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. And I did take some gambles on this. Uh, I haven't seen any of the gambles come across yet. So we'll see. Uh, Invincible Iron Man, Riri Williams' first cover appearance. Um, I probably paid, let's see. I probably paid a little bit of money for this when it was like a, a hot, hot, hot book, but um, I have like two nine eights already, um, so it's hard for me to determine <laughs> which one is which. Uh, number one, uh, I paid. Let's see, for this one, I probably paid forty bucks. Yeah, probably about forty dollars. So not a big profit margin on this. Even if it's a 9.8, if it's a 9.6, small profit margin. 9.8 white pages, very nice. This is trickier for me, and I'm learning with that because it has the digital uh, code. Interestingly, if you didn't see, I did an unboxing where I had two copies of this, one with a digital code and one without. Both came back as 9.8 white pages and no uh, notation about the digital code. 9 to 5 for the 9.8s. Very nice. Up next, ooh, this was one of the ones I took a gamble on. This was from a collection, X-Men 117. I'd be surprised if it's a 9.8. Um, it doesn't really have any huge key significance. What does it say there? Get the focus on there. First appearance of Shadow King, uh, origin of Professor Xavier, Lalandra, and Misty Knight appearance. Okay. So X-Men 117, this was the books, one of the books I was like, let me put it in there. If it comes back as a 9.6 or better, great. Nine six white pages. 
completely happy with that. Again, um, this was part of a collection, a book I cleaned and pressed, and I knew that 9.8 was unlikely, but I thought 9.6 was possible. There are two spine ticks um, kind of in the marble box. I, just, I don't know if you can see it. It's, that's probably what limits it right by Nightcr Nightcrawler's jaw there. There's the spine tick, and there's, uh, there's another one right about there. That's a 9.6. Absolutely. I would have been, like I said, surprised at 9.8. Very happy with the 9.6. So I think we're at 9 to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I think it's 9 to 6. The 9.8s are leading. So that one is a plus because I didn't expect um, a, a, a 9.8 for that. Right? I, I saw the flaws, but I thought the flaws could still get the 9.6, and it did. Um, this one I thought a little bit better of. This was the same collection. I thought this was clean. This is the first appearance, I always get confused, it's the first appearance of Forge, right? Yep. First appearance of Forge, hoping for the 9-8. Oh, that hurts. 9-6 white pages. I had this, my notes of this, I had it down as clean. So I don't know what knocked it down. Still a good value book in a 9-6. Um, but this is, this that, that's a little bit of a surprise because I thought it was pretty clean. 9-7 in favor of the 9-8s. Um... Up next, X-Men Adventures number one. I I bought this, I think, let me see. I bought this when the announcement of the animated series reboot came out, so I probably, um, I think that's what I did. Um, X-Men Adventures number one, yeah. I'm just looking at my CLZ app to see. Uh, I paid $46 for this. I, I kind of overpaid for it. Um, it's the first uh, issue of the TV series, first appearance of Morph, and it came back as a 9.8 white pages. Okay, I'll take that. Yes, very good. Very happy with that. So we're at 10 to 7, I think. Um, so, so far so good. Up next, um, Superman number 4, first appearance of Bloodsport. Idris Elba played Bloodsport in the... Um, Suicide Squad movie. I had I had bought two nine eights of this like a month before the Suicide Squad movie came out, and then I sold them right at the height. The weekend the movie came out, the the book went nuclear, and like the highest sale and a nine point eight. Uh, that's that's my sale. Um, so I'm trying to sign Superman Volume Two. Uh, I bought. Let's see. What, two of these, because I have two, two of these in the submission. I thought they were both really clean. Um, one I bought for $20, and one I bought for $2, and I thought they were both pretty clean. So I'm I'm of the belief that Idris Elba's coming back to play more Bloodsport, um, and if it's done by James Gunn, it'll be done right. 9.8 white pages, very nice. 11 to 7. So, I, yeah, I thought that was a 9-8 all day. Another one. I also thought this was really clean. 9-6. I'll say this is the $2 one. I thought they were both really clean. Maybe this is a Mint Hunter um, moment where I think there should just be one book left. One graded book, and then we got five books that did not get graded. Um... Yeah, I, there's one I took a gamble on. Um, this is X-Men 5, first full appearance of Omega Red. Um, where did I get this? I probably got this for, like, you know, like a dollar or two. I, I did not pay for this. X-Men, volume one, number five. I have a couple of these. Yeah, five dollars. I bought this at the uh, Black Friday estate sale. This should be clean, 9.8 white pages. Excellent. So I believe I got 12 nine eights and eight nine sixes. I call that a success. Now, the books in here, um, I took a gamble. One of them I'm just going to probably throw into a regular modern order because it is a, a, pri a pricey book. Um, and the one came back with Grader's Notes. So this one, 
this is with the first appearance of um, Calypso. And this is really clean, but there is some discoloration on a couple of places. And I know, like right, right by um, Craven's left foot, there's a little discoloration because I have other copies that look sharper. That I'll just keep raw. Um, X Men 115. Again, I thought this was. Um, there was some spine dress. Um, I thought this this was a one I took like 117. I took a little bit of gamble on. I won with 117, and I did not win with that one. This came back with Grader's notes actually that the inside cover was tanned. Um, the book looked pretty clean to me. Otherwise, I didn't take that close a look at the inside front cover. So let's do that. Be just because this actually came back with Grader's notes because my. Maybe? I mean, I don't know. Not an enormous book, but whatever. Uh, this oh, this one I thought was really clean. I, I didn't think this was a game. What the? My notes on this were I. This is a pricey book. Um, oh. Hmm. I'm wondering, because this is something I have in a bunch of books from this same collection, um, that it has, this is Iron Man 120, this is the first appearance of, um, what's his name, the, the guy who Sam Rockwell played, and it's got this date written here, I don't know if that affects the grade or not. And then this one I took a gamble on because it is a pricey book in this high grade, I'll probably just put it in a modern order, and that is... Hulk 271, first rocket raccoon. Um, yeah, there's, you look at Hulk's foot there in the bottom corner. That's probably holding it back. So what we're going to do is I'm going to look up the fair market value of the books that did get graded, and um, we'll come back and, and wrap it up. So when we add up the fair market value of all the books, all 20 graded books, it came out to exactly $2,600. Now there is... A little bit of um, uh, interpolation there. Um, the Anima Animaniacs Christmas special doesn't really have any sales in a 9.6, so I put that, you know, about $100. Um, some haven't had sales in a while. The Oblivion song is only going for $30 right now. Um, that's kind of sit on it until we hear more. But, uh, you know, the, the biggest books, uh, the X-Men Adventures, number one, in a 9.8 back in July... Sold for two ninety three. That's maybe cooled down a little bit, but that's what I have it as the last sale. And then the Green Lantern uh, two hundred one, the first Kilowog, uh, has a fair market value of three hundred four dollars. I'm very happy with that book. And then really the, the best book actually is the Ms. Marvel seventeen, a cameo appearance of Mystique, has a fair market value of four hundred eight dollars. Um, and I went through I think pretty much every book. I told you what it cost me out of pocket. A lot of them out of collections you know, kind of a handful of dollars, you know, um, I figure if I buy a, a collection, like uh, a large collection I bought last year was about 2000 books. I figure it's about $4 a book. They're all books from the silver and bronze age. Some sell for less than four, but most of them more than four, even in raw form, even the filler issues. Um, so if I put that at $4, that's a pretty good estimate. So um, again, I'm very happy with doing the 9.6 pre-screen. Um, there were just a couple of books I was disappointed in. I was disappointed that the second Superman four came back, uh, not as a nine, eight, I got one, nine, eight, one, nine, six, and maybe James from Mint Hunter is right. Don't submit the same book, um, in the same submission. And, uh, the other one I was uh, disappointed in was the first forge, the X-Men, uh, 184, that that only came back a nine, six. I thought that was pretty clean. Um, the rest... I'm happy with, uh, you know, the, the books that got rejected. I took I took a few gambles, and they didn't pay off, and that's what a 9.6 pre-screen does. And that Kilowog book, the Green Lantern 201, I had put that in a 9.6 pre-screen months ago. It came back rejected, cleaned up, resubmitted, and it comes back as a 9.8. So that was a big win for me. Um, again, I cleaned and pressed all these books myself, so um, I'm happy. 
with <laughs> the cleaning and pressing job I did. Good job, me. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I did get the books I thought up into a uh, condition that they were getting good grades. And again, you saw that some of these I spent almost nothing for, uh, you know, $5, $2, $1 in the state sale. So um, that is going to be it for this video. I do have more unboxings coming. I have actually another full 25 book submission that uh, I picked up for my LCS today, picked up two submissions. So I'm going to open that up later. That'll be a video you'll see probably within the next week. So just keep an eye on the channel. I'd like to thank everyone for their support. Again, Tuesday night, 10 p.m., we're going to be doing our um, uh, 2,500 subscriber giveaway, and we'll probably do the 3,000 subscriber giveaway, hopefully at the beginning of December. So we can take a look at a couple of other videos that I've posted. And this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.